Greetings everyone, welcome back to the Drawing Journal. Here again, working on the same picture that I did last week. Um, got a little bit further during the week, had a little bit of time to draw, which was nice. And um, had a pretty busy week, but overall um, it was good. I would say that was a pretty good week. If I had time to draw, then it was a pretty good week. And uh, so yeah, here's here's what the red is starting to look like on this drawing. Um, I don't know. I'm a little uh, I'm a little neutral right now as far as liking it, but um, I think once it's done, it, it it can look pretty cool. I'm gonna also do the background a bit um, to make it a little more dynamic. But uh, right now, this is what it looks like. Um, I'm using this just crimson red um, and then this crimson lake um, it's just a, a just a tiny bit different uh, red color it's almost identical but uh, the crimson lake color is just a bit more darker so it helps pull out some more value out of this red color and so far um, yeah it's coming out okay I, I don't think I'm going to get, like, the values that I was hoping for using red and white, because, uh, as you can see with the, the little drapey towel thingy, I, there's nothing that I can really do. It, 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 it kind of looks like it should just all be transparent, and it is a little bit. You can see a little bit of the leg here, but I can't really add any other values because I don't want it to be red. I don't want the the sheet to look like it's red. I just want it to look, well, like a sheet. And so I tried to use the value from the paper color itself and just leave it at that. But um, other than that, um, school's going well. Uh, I am finally finished with my application for my master's program, which is exciting because it's actually not due for another two months, but I really wanted to get it done uh, so that I didn't have to worry about it over break. Once this quarter is over, it is just going to be having fun. And um, I will add a little bit more details of why it will be so fun later when it gets closer. Until then, I just will keep it a secret. But... Um, anyways, so, uh, last Saturday I took just this test, I had to take this test in order, um, in order to apply, and it was four and a half hours long, it was, oh gosh, it was so exhausting, it wasn't hard at all, it was so easy, it was a joke, it was, it was, it was a joke of a test, um, I guess it was kind of like the SAT, um, from what I've heard. Uh, I've never, I never took the SAT. I, since I started in a community college, you don't need, you don't need to take an SAT to get into a community college. And then once I had my associate's degree, you still don't need to take an SAT to get into a university. So I never had to take one. They're just a waste of money unless you're trying to go straight to a university, which Honestly, I don't know why you'd waste the money doing that when community college is so cheap. And in most cases, uh, it makes your time at the university easier because you can take all the simple classes. So if you are thinking about going to college, you know, just go to community college and get your associates first. But um, yeah, so this test was just, it was just awful. It, um, but I passed it, uh, of course. I mean, it would be stupid for me to say that it was so easy, but fail it, that that wouldn't really make any sense. But it's over. I do have one more test I have to take called the uh, NAS, and it's, it's more of a 
it's more of a just it's math it's just a math test um i don't really quite know what will be on it but it will probably have calculus up to, up to calculus for sure um so it would be a little bit more difficult time consuming but i still think it's all multiple choice which you know, that makes it easy um and then what else what else um yeah nothing else really going on this week um oh i did finally get uh, another drawing done um uh, which, if you haven't caught the time lapse for that, you can check that out. It's one of the weekly drawings. Weekly drawing 42, actually. Um, which doesn't really make sense to even call them weekly drawings anymore, since I haven't... Since it's been, like, months since the last time I've done one. And, yeah, so... You can check that out. Nothing exciting. Um, I did it for a collaboration piece for Colored Pencil Magazine. And it... Uh, Basically what they did is they took a, a, a reference photo and they cut it up into nine, um, nine pieces and then nine artists come together and they draw each of their piece. And I don't know, I, I didn't have the least exciting piece, but I certainly had the second to least exciting piece. Um, so there was nothing real unique or challenging really um in the the piece that i was given because i didn't i didn't get to select it that was part of the that was part of the whole thing was that they select it for you and yeah unfortunately i got the uh i drew one of the short straws on that one that's for sure but uh, it was still fun to do i look forward to the completed piece um and seeing how everybody else interpreted their section. And then uh, we all get a high-quality print of the final piece of everybody's work. Everybody submits their work, and then they, they put it all together, and then we all get to have a print of it. So I'm, I'm excited about that. I think that would be kind of nice, and I'll share that with everybody once that print comes out. It won't be here for for a while so uh, yeah it'll be it'll be a while before i show anybody that or before even i get to see it so yeah um the first question of today yeah this one's an easy one first question is if i'm working or if i'm if i'm working hard or hardly working and uh honestly i'm always working hard unless I'm procrastinating because I've worked too hard for too long. Um, I mean, I have like tons of homework that I always have to do. That's always due like the next day. And I've taken four classes this quarter in the summer. Um, and so you can't not work hard <laughs> taking so many classes. Um, I mean, I've been in school for four years straight. I haven't had a summer off to just do nothing. Next year, actually, will be the first summer in five years. Well, that's also, yeah, the first summer in five years that I'll have off. Um, and it will be glorious. So... I'm, I'm excited for that, but yeah, I'm always working hard. I mean, come on, these drawings don't draw themselves, right? All right, the next question is, really? What do I smell right now? Honestly, I have no idea. I don't really smell anything. And weird question. Write a phrase to describe myself. Um, busy. Uh, didn't we already discuss that? What is what is the last road trip that I took? Um, I don't know if I can really call it a road trip, but it was like the longest time I've dro driven in a long time. And it was uh, 
geez, when the heck was that? That was, I think it was earlier this year, actually. I don't think, yeah, it was earlier this year, um, back in the spring, right? Or was it, oh my goodness, when was that? No, okay, yeah, yeah. I think it was back in March, maybe. Uh, But me and a few friends, we drove over to eastern Washington, and um, I don't know why I'm... um, And we went to this lake, and it was... It was a pretty cool lake. Um, had a cliff thingy to jump into the water. Um, but most of the time we just hiked. And uh, my friend's boyfriend uh, had like a bunch of guns. And so we were like in the middle of the desert pretty much. Because the weird thing about eastern Washington is because the Cascade Mountains block all the the weather onto this side um it's really dry over there it's like a desert and uh so we just went out in the middle of nowhere and shot guns and it was pretty cool it was hot it was really hot but it was still fun to do and um yeah so that was the last road trip i've been wanting to go on one like in between, in between like school breaks or whatever, just go, just jump in my car and literally just drive to wherever. Um, I've been wanting to do that for a while, but I never actually do it. I always end up doing something else, often, often related to art. You know, um, I have I have breaks from school. I try to catch up on all the all the stuff I haven't drawn yet. Um, and then of course make videos of it and do all that stuff. And I try to get ahead. I try to get ahead most of the time so that, um, I can have videos uploading in advance so that when I get really busy and I don't have time to do a video, then I can just, you know, have them, pre-uploaded, pre-edited, and everything. That way, I have videos coming out every week, and um, that often is how I spend my breaks. Spend my breaks probably busier than I am during the school quarter, to be honest with you. But I'm, I'm glad I started these these drawing journals, and I hope I hope everybody that watches them I I know a few people at least watch them I mean not too many comments or questions or anything like that but um, uh, yeah I hope that I hope that you enjoy them and if you do just, you know let me know um, but regardless I'm gonna keep doing them uh, I think it's nice to get uploads um, Speaking of uploads, I did actually just get over 100 videos, which um, kind of just snuck up on me. Uh, I didn't do anything special like somebody else might might have done or something like that. But yeah, 100 videos, um, less than two years. I think uh, I started my channel in October of 2013. Yeah, and um, gone gone pretty far so far. Uh, so yeah, excited about that. 100 videos. Might just make that the title of this video for the sake of it. Anyways, um, what is the next question? Um, next question, is there a next question? Am I a wallflower or a social butterfly? That is the next question, and that is that is obvious what I am. I am definitely a wallflower. I almost never talk to anybody, except if you comment on my channel. Then I talk to everybody. But um, 
Yeah, I'm not really a social person all that much. I keep to myself a lot. Most of my, actually all of my friends and family live in Ohio and um, so I don't, I don't really have anybody out here in Washington that I talk to or hang out with. So I pretty much just keep to myself and that's it. So definitely wallflower. And then I have one final question, which is if I could have anything for a pet, if I could have anything for a pet, regardless of what it is, that wouldn't eat me. Um, and I asked this question on a previous video. So uh, it's been, I've had a week. I've had a week to think about this, my answer, and I... I still haven't come up with a satisfactory answer, uh, to myself anyway. Um, I love the question, I do, and uh, I, I just don't feel like I have one answer for it because there's so many cool animals out there, and um, I would love to just have them all as pets. I would like an army of pet, of pets, just like... Uh, Jim Carrey in that, what is that movie? Oh my gosh, I'm going to forget it. This is awful. Oh no. Oh, Ace Ventura. Oh geez, that was, that was a close call. If I would have forgot the name of that movie, that would have been, that would have been disgraceful. Um, yeah, like that opening scene of Ace Ventura where he has like every animal crawling out of every crack of his house and, uh, yeah, I would, uh, I don't know, my first, my first, like, reaction to this question was that I would love, like, an army of squirrels. Just, like, tons and tons of squirrels as pets. But not just, like, walking around acting like cats, like they don't care about you, but, like, being able to, um, like, train them to do stuff. Oh, that'd be so rad. Squirrels are so cool. Um, but, yeah, that was kind of my first reaction. And then I was thinking, like, oh, no, I would like a like something crazy scary to people, like a, a full-size Komodo dragon. Like, that was my second one. And I was like, oh, that'd be so rad. The Komodo dragons are poisonous, too. So I could, like, I don't know, become a, a super villain with... Komodo dragon. That'd be interesting. Um, what else? Oh, lemurs? Oh, goodness. There, I mean, there's tons of different kinds of lemurs, but I watched a documentary called uh, The Lemurs of Madagascar. Highly recommend it um, because uh, it's uh, also uh, narrated by... Oh my gosh, I'm going to forget his name. I'm forgetting everything right now. Uh, what is his name? Oh my goodness. He narrates everything. Oh gosh. Oh geez, this is so bad. <laughs> How did I forget his name? Oh, this is going to bother me so much right now. I mean, I could look it up. Wow. What is his name? This is, this is, honestly, this might be worse than forgetting Ace Ventura, but at least I remember that. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I forgot his name. Anyways, um,. I don't know if I can go on. I, I I think I might have to stop just to get his name. This is gonna this is gonna bother me too much. Uh, but anyway, yeah, lemurs. Uh, lemurs are totally rad. They're such cool looking animals. Um, another one that I thought of, um, and I kind of feel bad for saying that because they are so mistreated in the black market. 
because they're sold as pets because people love them and they're super adorable, uh, which is the slow loris. Oh, goodness, those creatures are so crazy cool. Um, but I kind of feel bad for wanting it as a pet because it's like torture to the, the poor thing. Um, they're, they're nocturnal animals and they have those really, really big eyes and like people take them outside in the daytime. It's like, oh gosh, it's, it's torture for their eyes because it's like blinding them. I mean, imagine like, imagine being shined in the face with like a really bright flashlight just constantly. But the, they're, they're so adorable. It's like the cutest thing in the world. And they, uh, yeah, they get, they get tortured a lot and they end up dying and people don't take care of them. And then, yeah. But uh, if, if they could thrive, not just survive, but thrive in the care of a person as a pet, then a slow loris would be like top of the list. Those creatures are so cool. Or I also thought of a raccoon. Like, raccoons are really cool, too. Um, and since the stipulation is that they wouldn't hurt you, um, and that would be, like, biting you, scratching you. But, um, yeah, raccoons would be cool, too. I like them. There's so many wonderful animals that I would love for, for a pet. Um... I think that's it for for questions. Uh, I don't have anything left, so I don't really know what to talk about. I don't know how. Again, I I never I never look at the gosh darn clock when I start drawing. And uh, yeah, oh, it's still bothering me that I don't remember his name. It's going to drive me nuts. I have my iPad right here. I can look it up. Maybe I can draw with one hand and look up his name. You're, you, you, it's going to be ridiculous when I say his name and you realize who I'm talking about and that I forgot his name because he literally narrates like every movie created with a narrator. Um, and I can't remember his name. Almost done. Oh, Jesus, so ridiculous. I still can't believe I forgot his name. What is it? Morgan Freeman. Jesus. Oh my gosh. How could I forget? Seriously, he's like in every movie. Um, wow. Um, anyways, I think that... I. Yeah, I think it's time to stop this video. Um, I can't go on any further. That is just despicable. But, uh, yes, anyway, I um, hope you like the way this is coming out. I, it's a bit different than these uh, these other tones. Um, it, it definitely adds something unique to the picture overall. Uh, it's fun to work with. It's a, it's a new challenge for sure, too, um, which, I mean, that would be the point in doing it but um, anyways uh, thanks for watching I hope that you enjoyed the video um, and I will see you all next week have a wonderful weekend take care peace